Hello guys, today I'm back with another tutorial. Yeah, it's been a minute, but yeah, today we're going to cover just the basic movement text in Apex. So this tutorial is for you if you just boot up the game and want to do movement, you know, and you don't know where to start. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so today we're going to go through three categories of movement text. Lighting, air text, including cap strafing, and um, wall text. Well, this is... This wall text isn't including climbing variations, as that's not really useful for you to know right now. But yeah, anyway, anyway without further ado, let's get into the first category, sliding. Alright, so let's start off with just the basic slide jump, what you really want to first learn in Apex. So as you can see, I have a keyboard overlay on, you can see, I'm pressing WSD, you know, and that. So I have um, crouch bound to C, and jump bound to scroll wheel down. You also have jump down to scroll down in the future, but yeah, anyway. So what you want to do, you just want to start sprinting, well I also have sprint in B. Um, so you want to start sprinting, and then hold the slide button. See how that's a slide, you know? Hold slide, and then jump. Like that. That is a slide jump, you know? I know some people recommend just to learn sliding first, and then learn slide jumping. But I wouldn't recommend this as that that builds bad muscle memory to not slide jump. Now, once you just get comfortable with just sliding and jumping like that, you know, just go back and forth and fire range and just on that. So once you, once you get comfortable with that, then you can add a jump afterwards. This is where the scroll down comes in handy. So this is what it looks like that, you know. Now, what this does is maintain velocity more, maintain the speed more. Where you can build it into more things if you if you need. So this is as I said, this is where the scroll down comes in handy. Because when you scroll down, you have several jump inputs instead of the one when you press space. So it'll be a lot easier to time it with the the touching the ground if you just scroll, you know. So like scroll and then scroll again, you know. Scroll, scroll again, and then just and then just get like used to that so then you can do that consistently in games you know because you don't want to do that every time but just to get that little bit of extra speed you want to be able to hit that bounty help and slide 100 percent of the consistency anyway on to the next tech which is edge sliding what an edge slide is is this you see how i climb up and then instantly slide then get a lot more speed this can be done on anything that you can mantle. see you can do it on this, you can do it on like everything, you know. Um, and this is helpful to just, well, you know, get faster, you know. So like, there's there's a bot up here, you know, you slide, and then like, tap drift around, and I'll teach you how to tap drift oh, later. But yeah, you see how it's just that little bit extra speed. You pretty much want to do this on like, every ledge that you go up. And yeah, it's really easy, just like, climb, and then like, slide. Also didn't do it just then. Like, uh, I'm not very good at this. See? You don't want to do it instantly, just a tiny bit later. You know, once you just step on the like on the object, you know. So again, climb, slide, boom. Exactly like that, you know? And yeah, don't be deterred if you get like a dead slide or whatever. Dead slide is when you like just like don't slide, you know, you just crouch. But yeah, when you get that side, just try and do the inputs a little bit, like, later, you know? Yeah, anyway, on to the next movement text. Alright, so next up are air texts. So I'm just going to teach you how to do an air strafe and a tap strafe. We'll start off with an air strafe. So what that looks like is just this. You see how I, like, move that way, I guess, instead of just going straight, you know? And you can do it the other way, like that, you know? So this is very basic and it's very useful. So what, what you want to do, you want to press a directional key, so AOD, and then while you're in the air, and then slowly move your camera that way. If you do it quick, then it doesn't work. And if you do it too slow, then it still works, but not as effective, you know. So there is, there's just a middle point that you want to try and aim for, you know. You can do it both sides, like that. It's just very basic, you know. Jump off and then hold a directional key, move your camera in that direction. Jump off, hold a directional key, move your camera in that direction, you know? Now, um, this is, you can probably just do this in game if you, if you really want to, because, like, like, just to practice it, because, yeah, you don't really need to learn it in the firing range. But, yeah, anyway, 
The next thing that, we'll, that I'm going to teach you is tap strafing. So how to tap strafe is you want to go into your binds. Um, I'll just show you because um, my game is in Japanese. You want W forward to um, one of your mouse wheels and then jump to your other mouse wheel. Now, um, you don't have to have it the same as me. You could have W on scroll down and space on scroll up, but it's just personal preference. But what you want to do, you want to slide jump like we learned how to do how, how to before and then hold a, hold a directional input like that and then like well scroll up pretty much so what i do i jump with scroll down and then instantly scroll up you see like that you know i do it in a very like slow ish relaxed way you know like that so just practice trying to do like 45 degree angle um tap straight sauce and then when you get comfortable with that go 90 degrees and then of course 180 degrees like that now yeah there's just one other thing try not to press space like for jump like you just keep space on like jump but try to do scroll wheel it helps with the timing more you know when you instead of i press space oh, i'm gonna mess it up doing like that it's just like it's more uncomfortable you know but yeah anyway you got that now onto wall text all right, so for the wall text, I'm just going to teach you how to do a basic wall bounce and also a, what's it called, um, a fatigue wall bounce. So to do a basic wall bounce, all you need to do is run, slide, jump, and then make sure you're climbing on a wall. You can practice on this wall, that wall, that wall, you know, any wall, even a wall over there, you know? <laughs> but yeah, just, just practice that. Practice climbing or being on a slide, jump, and then climb into a wall, all right? And then once you get that down, jump off, you know? So that's again, climb and then jump. You don't want to do it so slow. You want to like get it quicker, you know? And just practice going like straight forward into it, you know? Then once you get consistent with just doing that, you can go sideways like that. But there's also a thing when going sideways. You want to hold that directional input in. You see that? So like that. That is what you call a war on when you like, you just go sideways like that, you know. You can have a delayed wall bounce like that, etc. But yeah, I'll probably explain all that in a future tutorial. But today, just try and focus on doing that, you know. Just the basic wall bounce like that. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you how to do a fatigue wall bounce. So what a fatigue wall bounce is, is this. Nope, that's not it. That. Exactly. Now, yeah, I didn't do it just then because they're quite strange to do. But yeah, anyway. How to do a fatigue wall bounce, you want to be in a fatigue state. Now what a fatigue say is, is you see that one big jump and then afterwards, small little hops, you know? This is being fatigued because you can't do the big jumps. Now you want to be in this state and then hit a wall bounce. There is no need to slide. Just be in fatigue, jump towards the wall, make sure you're climbing and then jump off. So it's pretty much just like a normal like wall bounce, but instead it's without that slide, you know? You just got to be in that fatigue state. Exactly like that. And again, it's the same premise as the normal wall bounce. If you're going in a direction, hold that direction that you're going in and jump off, you know? Exactly like that. So you see, boom, ba, like that, you know? Exactly. So, and you probably won't get this first try. And this is quite understandable because it's a, it's a bit of a jump up from the other tap. But it's still at that beginner level that I believe that you can get, you know? And yeah, anyway, that's about it. All right, thank you guys for watching, and that's all that I have. I hope I put you on the right track to becoming a better movement player, maybe the top movement player, you know? But yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and as always, have a nice day. See ya.